You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Funding for this Cyberwire Word Notes podcast is made possible by Nobefore, the experts in social engineering and the pioneers in new school security awareness training. Word is Web 3.0. Spelled W as in world, E as in expectation, B as in blockchain, and 3 as in the next version. Definition The potential next evolution of the World Wide Web that decentralizes interaction between users and content away from the big Silicon Valley social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and towards peer-to-peer interaction using blockchain as the underlying technology. Example sentence. Web 3.0 would theoretically give users more privacy by taking power away from major third-party data brokers. Origin and context. Web 1.0, which lasted from about 1991 to 2004, refers to the time when websites were mostly static content. Web creators established a domain name, stood up a web server on that corner, and built web pages for specific topics that included hot links to other sources of information on the site or to other web creators. Nader David from Free Code Camp describes this as the read only web. Web 2.0 refers to the internet in its current form, marked by interactive websites owned by several massive companies. This is most clearly seen in social media. In 2020, Charles Silver, the CEO of Permissions.io, said in a Forbes magazine essay that, quote, Web 2.0's business model relies on user participation to create fresh content and profile data to be sold to third parties for marketing purposes. Indeed, the Internet has become a massive app store dominated by centralized apps from Google, Facebook, and Amazon, where everyone is trying to build an audience, collect data, and monetize that data through targeted advertising. In my opinion, the centralization and exploitation of data and the use of it without users' meaningful consent is built into Web 2.0's business model, end quote. Web 3.0 refers to the relatively new idea of a decentralized internet built upon blockchain or peer-to-peer nodes, perhaps through the metaverse that investors are currently pouring money into, giving users more sovereignty over their own data. Chris Dixon, a partner at Andreessen Horowitz, says that Web 3.0, quote, combines the decentralized community-governed ethos of Web 1.0 with the advanced modern functionality of Web 2.0. Critics of the idea argue that it's not technically feasible or that major corporations will still control this version of the Internet. Regardless, Web 3.0 is another manifestation of tech researchers and investors realizing that Internet consumers may not particularly like the current situation and would pay for other models. They think that the typical internet user doesn't like the idea that all of their traffic must traverse a small handful of internet tech giants whose business model is to monetize those users' personal information. We see that in new identity and access management models, and now we're starting to see it for general purpose internet traffic. Nerd Reference In December 2021, Clayton Morris from Crypto News Daily played a clip from Elon Musk describing his skepticism of Web 3.0 technology. He says that it feels more like marketing than reality. Um, I don't know if I necessarily buy into this metaverse stuff, Um, although people talk to me a lot about it. Like I said, I don't don't want to be like, you know, some old old codger sort of dismissing the internet in 95 is not amounting to anything, so there's some danger that that's the case, but... Uh, I, I currently am unable to see a compelling metaverse situation um, or w- Web3 sounds like more marketing than reality. I don't get it. You know, and maybe I will 
So, I don't know, but I don't get it yet. Put it that way. Word Notes is written by Tim Nodar, executive produced by Peter Kilpe, and edited by John Petrick and me, Rick Howard. The mix, sound design, and original music have all been crafted by the ridiculously talented Elliot Peltzman. Thanks for listening. Thanks to our sponsor, Know Before, for making this episode of Word Notes possible. Users are the last line of defense in keeping organizations safe from cyber attacks, and it's critical to keep them trained and on their toes with security top of mind. The team at Know Before are the social engineering experts and pioneers of new school security awareness training. They've got the world's largest training library, and its content is always fresh. Know Before delivers interactive, engaging training on demand. It's done through the browser and supplemented with frequent simulated social engineering attacks by email, phone, and text. Learn more at knowbefore.com. That's K N O W B E, the number four, dot com.